Hello and welcome to another tutorial by me, Tell Tacos. Today, we're gonna be making this very, very simple teleporting system. So, I have prepared here a dry uh, with a frame, and then I have another frame in it, which I've scaled to about this height, and this is a scrolling frame. Inside of here, I've added two. Um, to uh, text buttons you can add any kind of buttons and then add a UI list layout for to make it easier and now you can do how many you want and it's just gonna stack so name this locations um, and I also have an open button here so let's get started with scripting so I'm gonna add a local script right here and name it to teleport client. So first we're gonna get the player. So let's do uh, local player is equal to game dot players dot local player. And then let's get the main frame, which is this frame. So let's do script dot parent dot frame. Then let's get the open button is equal to uh, script.parent.open and then let's get the teleport uh, buttons and this is going to be mainframe.locations which I have here um, and then we're going to do uh, 4i comma v in Paris teleport buttons get children do so what this loop is gonna do it's gonna go it's gonna go through all of these buttons or actually everything I have inside of this it's gonna loop through this and it's gonna check um, I'm gonna make a check here right here if this is a image button or it, if it is a text button then I'm gonna check if someone clicks on this button so let's do mouse button one click connect function so it's gonna go through all of these it's gonna check if it's an image button or text button if it is it's gonna wait for someone to click on it and when someone clicks on it you will get it right here so this will work for all the buttons inside of here so you don't have to have scripts for each one of them. You can have it for every single one. And in here, uh, we're going to fire the teleport function. So now let's add a remote event into replicated storage. Name it teleport or whatever you want. Just name it whatever you want. Yeah. In server script service, add another script and call this teleport server so now let's do game dot replicate storage dot teleport fire server and then let's pass the argument v dot name and this is gonna be the name of the place you want to teleport to <laughs> and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna yeah this will work for now so let's go in here and let's type game dot replicate storage dot teleport dot on server event connect function and whenever you fire a, a remote event from the client to the server it's always going to pass the player as the first parameter so you're just going to type in player and then you can type in the name and this is going to be the name of the teleport. And then do local char is equal to player.character or player.character added weights. And then local human root part or RP or HRP for short is going to be char wait for child humanoid root root part. And then let's just set hrp dot c frame is equal to game dot workspace 
dot teleport name dot secret so what you're gonna do now is you're gonna add a folder into workspace and name it teleport or whatever you want just remember to put the same thing right here and you're gonna add parts into this and these parts can look like something like this anchor on and can collide off and then you can make them transparent and you're gonna you're gonna name this uh, exactly the same as you do inside of the GI so for example this is gonna be house then you're gonna name this teleport to house so they have to have matching names yes so let's uh, make it so you can actually open uh, the frame so let's go in here and let's do open button dot mouse button one click connect function and then we're gonna set the mainframe dot uh, visible to not mainframe dot uh, visible and what this is gonna do is gonna see if it is visible then it's gonna set it to not visible but if it's not visible then it's gonna set it to visible so basically like it does the opposite of what it is and that's it you're done it's very simple and let's see if it's working bam bam can teleport yeah so this is gonna be in the model in the description you can like, find this ui if you want it and uh, yeah the script is also gonna be in the model so thank you for watching and i'll see you next time bye bye